Hi, Scorpio. I'm Pam, the Lucky Mermaid, Psychic Seer and Modern Mystic, bringing you psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides for March 2024. Please be sure to watch your sun sign, your rising sign, and your moon sign to get a more clear and complete picture of what's to come for you in March and perhaps beyond because timing will be different for all of you in these general readings. Remember, sometimes your rising sign and your moon sign will resonate more for you than your sun sign. And if you're born on the cusp of your sign, some months your psychic predictions and messages are coming to you from there. So you might want to check that out. This recording is for Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Rising, and Scorpio Moon. I'm using the Hanson Roberts Tarot Deck in this reading. All that being said, Scorpio, now on to your March 2024 Psychic Tarot Reading. The first card you have, Scorpio, is Nine of Rods, and this is being prepared and ready for battle. It could be getting organized, getting your ducks in a row. It could also be indicating that you could be suspicious of someone or something or some situation uh, that could be rising suspicion in you. I, my guides are telling me that you're figuring out how to make your next move. Now, what is your next move, Scorpio? That could be in love, work, business, romance, friendship, socially. And there's something about like starting to really see how people are behaving, paying attention to it. So if anybody's you know, suddenly acting differently, or, you know, maybe that's not something you normally pay attention to because you're busy, you've got this going on, that going on. You may start to notice, like, paying attention to how people are behaving in your life, or at work, or with clients and customers, or, you know, the public, people around, out in the world, even. I feel like you're trying to get yourself motivated to make some kind of big jump or leap in some way. But it's like, I got to get things buckled down and nailed down first. So whatever big jump or leap my guides are talking about, they're saying like, you're, there are certain things that you have to get set in place, get organized, get, uh, you know, get in place before you make this big jump or leap. And part of what you're doing is calculating how people are going to respond and how people are behaving and will behave about what this big jump or leap is that you're getting ready to do. And <laughs> you may say, that's a weird message, Pam. Uh, I get that you may be trying to make yourself very, very small, like, you know, unobtrusive, uh, you know, like a little tiny mouse blending into the background because it's like, <laughs> you know, you're working on stuff. You're setting the stage, you're planning something and you don't want to be like really obtuse about it, uh, you know, really uh, like, you don't want a flashing neon sign that you're getting ready to do this or that. You just want to meld into the background and don't pay attention to what I'm doing. That's what I get, even though you're getting ready to make some kind of big jump or leap. Down in the comments section, please let me know if you know what this big jump or leap is that you're getting ready to do. Maybe you don't want to share it down there. It could tip people off. And, and I get that you're wise to what's going on around you and you've been privy to it for a while. So uh, there is some suspicion or I don't know if that's the like savviness. You're, you're very savvy about what's, what's been going on around you. And, um, this is part of what is igniting you to make and motivating you to make this big jump or leap that you're going to be doing. 
So the next card in your reading, Scorpio, is the Nine of Pentacles. And this is being at peace and contentment with your life and having financial stability and abundance behind you. This could also be enjoying the finer things in life, like luxuries and uh, luxurious pleasures. And you're going to make things seem more pleasant, more aesthetically pleasing. Uh, it could be to your own self with your hair, makeup, wardrobe. Uh, it could also be your environment, your home, your furnishings, your surroundings. And you're going to really want everybody to think everything's copacetic, everything's normal. That's what you want to portray. But you got some things cooking. It's like you got some things in the works that I feel like you're kind of being secretive or, um, you know, keeping things under your hat keeping th your cards close to your vest. That kind of energy is swirling all around you, Scorpio. <laughs> well, I don't know what's going on with you guys in March. Um, it's like almost like you want to portray things one way, but really inside your mind and behind the scenes, it's another way. That's You got something cooking here. This could be a month where you put out good vibes, uh, positive energy, and put on a, like being a good hostess, putting on a good display, a good show, a good presentation. All of that comes up. If you're hosting any parties, gatherings, celebrations, weddings, uh, you know, retirement parties, birthday parties, anything, anniversary parties, engagement parties, work parties, anything, or, you know, any work-related gatherings, you're going to be the hostess with the mostess. You're going to be, you know, uh, making things really, really nice. And this can also be not just like decoration wise it can be food wise also <laughs> i get it again you are going to want to seem like you're serene like butter wouldn't melt in your mouth but there's a whole nother world going on in there scorpio you got cooking uh, I keep using this phrase of got something cooking, but that's what I see. Like, so what you portray externally is not totally what you're feeling internally or what's going on with you in a planning sense. And I feel like you're going to be very gracious and you're going to be uh, addressing people's concerns. That could be clients, customers, family members, friends, co-workers, bosses, you know, whoever it is, like you're going to be very, um, like wanting to make sure everything's good. Everything's all right. How are things over here? How are things over there? Again, this could be at a, a gathering or a celebration that you are part of planning or that you're throwing for somebody, um, or, you know, like I said, it could be a work-related re work event. Or it could just be, that could just be your nature of how you're treating people in the month of March. So before I go on to your next card, if you would like to see how this full moon lunar eclipse in Libra, March 25th, 2024, is going to affect you for the next six months, you can get my Psychic Tarot, Crystal, and Oracle card readings that I recorded for that eclipse. I highly recommend getting both your sun sign and your rising sign if you can do so, uh, because that way you'll get a more clear and complete picture of how this eclipse is going to affect you. That link is down below in the description box in the show, show more section. Underneath this video, it's going to be the top link uh, right at the top, or you can go to my website at the Lucky Mermaid. Uh, dot com on the videos page and it will probably be the top video series listed on that 
videos page if I'm able to type it. I haven't typed it on there yet because I broke my wrist, so February was not a good month for me, and I badly sprained my right wrist, and I'm just really in the last few days, I'm able to really use my hand and wrist uh, somewhat normally. So hopefully they'll be typed over there as well on my website, but that link is down below in the description. So your next card in your reading, Scorpio, is the Knight of Swords, and this is an air sign person, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, sun, moon, or rising sign person. It could be you if you have a rising sign or a moon sign that's an air sign, or if you're born on the cusp of Libra and Scorpio. I feel like you're finding out information about this air sign person. I feel like they're kind of, they're outgoing, but they can sometimes be aggressive. I feel in March, they're very demonstrative in their, uh, and expressing their emotions and feelings in March. This could be somebody that's saying to you, this is where I draw the line. You can't step over it. This could be a love partner to you, uh, where they're saying, hey, you, you know, this isn't going to fly anymore. You can't do that. You could be the one doing it. If this is your rising sign, moon sign, or cusp sign, you could be the one saying it to somebody like, look, this is where I draw the line. Somebody could be saying it to you. This could be a spouse, a significant other. It could be a boss, could even be a parent. This could also be an ex. This could be somebody that's saying, I'm not taking no for an answer. You're going to give me back this, that, or the other. This could be somebody saying, you owe the money. This could be saying something like, you have my stuff, or that stuff doesn't belong to you. It belongs to me, so cough it up. It could even be a sibling if there is any estate getting settled and people that are dividing property in an estate could be saying, hey, why are you taking that? That's not yours. That belongs to me, like that kind of energy. So it could be an ex. It could be a current spouse. It could be a sibling or another relative that's disputing it in that uh, estate sense. I feel like this is somebody you're going to have contention with. I feel like you may have words. You could be battling it out with them in some way for some of you. They may be like accusatory to you, like say, don't gaslight me or don't trick me. They could be saying that if this is you, you could be saying that to somebody. If it's not you, I see you looking at them like they are very belligerent in March. I feel like there's a lot of angst here. And for some of you, this could have been ongoing. This angst could have already been happening and it's just escalating or just continuing on. If it if the angst wasn't there prior to March, I feel it kicks up in March and it will continue on because there is the energy of it continuing on. So either prior to March and March and continuing on or it starts in March and continues on. So your next tarot card is the Nine of Swords and this is grieving the loss of a love relationship like a breakup. It could also be sleepless nights, migraine headaches, not feeling well, worrying about somebody else not feeling well. Uh, it could also be some other kind of loss that you're feeling sad about. You may feel like you're trying to mend fences or you would like to mend fences, but whatever is going on here, it's not going well. You may also feel like you tried to run the show or take charge of something that failed or didn't go the way you had planned. There could also be some pressures on you where you may feel like, I can't take this, I'm not cut out for this. 
So it could be a job that you got hired for. You may feel like, I can't take this pressure. I'm not cut out for this. It could be a love relationship you feel that way about. It could be if you have to take care of any aging relatives and or somebody that's not well or sick in some way, and you may feel like, oh my God, this is way too much pressure and tension. I'm not cut out for this. Some of you could have that experience. I feel like you're also learning to trust yourself, but for some reason, my guides are saying something going on here is a bitter pill for you to swallow in March. I do feel there's some element of you taking things out and discarding them. If you had anything in hock in a pawn shop, you may be taking it out, getting it out of pawn and turning around and selling it, fully selling it, um, or anything you have in storage, a storage unit, a basement, a garage, a crawl space, crawl space um, you may be going through like g getting rid of stuff or whether it's selling it or donating it. Um, I feel that's another activity going on here in uh, March for some of you Scorpios. You could have a fever. Uh, you could literally not be feeling well because I do hear, and I, and weirdly enough, even if it is a virus or a bug of some sort that you catch, I feel like it was brought on by stress. Um, so you could have a fever. You could not feel well in March for some of you. That's not going to apply to all of you. Remember, it's a general reading, and you really should, if you know your rising sign, moon sign, cusp sign, sun sign. If, if this doesn't resonate with you, this reading, first of all, they're predictions. So they may, not, you, they may make sense to you later, because timing will be different for all of you. Uh, but that's why I say watch your rising sign, sun sign, and moon sign. I do feel there's some kind of intolerable situation going on and you feel like you can't deal with it or put up with it anymore. If you're unwell, if you have some kind of medical condition, it could be that. Um, that could be a possibility, but could be so many scenarios that you feel like you can't put up with it or deal with it anymore. And lo and behold, look at your last card makes sense. You have the eight of cups, which is turning away from what's not working for you anymore, emotionally speaking, and heading off on the, on a new journey with a stick of power and control in your hand. And even though the journey's unknown, you're still willing to take it. I get you're revising some plans or the, the original plan or revising some plans and you're out of here. So you're definitely leaving something. You may even go away on a trip <clears throat> or take a leave of absence, a sabbatical, um, take a vacation and try to figure out what's the next step of what you're going to do. You may leave an you may leave an unattainable situation and get your act together and get a plan going. Although for some of you, your first card indicates some of you already have a plan that's brewing and the plan could be that you're exiting a situation or a relationship. If you've been in any situation, either at work, a job, or a family that you feel is like bullying, people have ganged up on you, kind of bullied you, or done any kind of actions like that towards you, I, I get you, you're like, I've had it. I, I'm not putting up with this anymore. I'm out of here. And you know, family members can gang up on each other, right? I mean, that happens. Could be socially. You could feel that way about friends or some club group or organization you belong to. People could be that way to you there. Um, but it, it could be at a job also. And I feel like you are saying to yourself, I'm going to make things right but I can't make things right for me in this situation, so I have to leave it. Some of you may have already done this in February, 
my guides are saying some of you this has already happened in February and <clears throat> I feel that the energy of the reason of why this is happening in a planetary sense is that it's because of the full moon lunar eclipse in Libra is has actually uh, been the catalyst or the trigger for this to go down here in March for you. And some of you are going to really create something better for yourself. It could be a new job. It could be a new business. It could be a new love relationship. And I get you setting your sights on somewhere where your services will be appreciated and needed because you don't feel like they're appreciated where you are. So for many of you, I feel it's at a job or a career situation. For others of you, I feel it's happening in a family or love relationship scenario. So the best gemstone crystal I got for you Scorpios to work with, use, and wear in the month of March 2024 is Clear Quartz. And Clear Quartz enhances psychic ability, aids in concentration, and unlocks memory. Clear Quartz stimulates the immune system and brings the body back into balance. It also harmonizes the chakras and aligns the subtle bodies. I feel like it's going to be a good invigorating stone for you if you wear it or put it on your chakras when you're meditating or sleep with it under your pillow. I feel like it's going to give you like kind of like bursts of energy in March. If you have to learn anything, new skills, new knowledge, new talents, new skills. Um, if you are carrying this stone or wearing it, you're going to assimilate and learn that knowledge and retain it. Also, if, you, if there's anything lost that you need to find, I would recommend doing crystal gazing. Gaze into a clear quartz crystal. Like, you know, that's what I do in this. That's a clear quartz. You can do it on a smaller stone. It doesn't have to be giant. And ask your spirit guides and just meditate and look on this stone. And you're going to get the ideas and inspirations where to look for something that you're having difficulty finding, something that's missing. You'll get either direction on where it is or if somebody took it, who took it, if, it, if it's stolen. Um, but this is going to be a stone that's going to make you feel healthier, like, uh, you know, more whole, more healthy. So I hope this reading was of help to you, and I hope it made sense. As always, thank you so very much for watching. I do truly appreciate it. And please like this video if you liked it and share it with others if you feel it was worth sharing and subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet and hit that notification bell when you do subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I upload my videos to YouTube and also check me out on Rumble. I'm also over there at the Lucky Mermaid LLC. Now, if you are subscribed and you're not getting notified, please check and see if you've gotten unsubscribed because sometimes YouTube does that. I don't know why. I don't unsubscribe anybody. So you may want to check that out. If you would like to get any of the special video series I record for my Vimeo on demand pages where I look at very specific topics you using a variety of divination tools to bring you psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides for each sign of the zodiac for those specific topics, you can access my most recently recorded video series by clicking on the links down below in the description box in the show more section. And these videos are also, the links are also on my website at the Lucky Mermaid LLC videos page. 
The most recently recorded video series I've recorded is the full moon lunar eclipse in Libra, March 25th, 2024, psychic tarot, crystal, and oracle card readings for each sign of the zodiac. I highly recommend if you can do so to get both your sun sign and your rising sign in that video series because this eclipse is not just going to be affecting your sun sign only and it is always wise to watch your rising sign when you can do so. Also, my big love readings for singles and couples for 2024 are also available. The first part of the videos will be your single people of your sign. The second half of the video will be the coupled people of your sign, but I do recommend you watch the entire video because there will be some crossover. So some messages for singles will apply to couples and some messages for couples will apply to the singles. I record the singles and couples in the same video because you could start out at the beginning of the year single and later on in the year you become a couple and vice versa. So that's why I do the singles and couples in the same video series, in the same videos. So also, if you would like to get uh, my psychic crystal readings for each sign of the zodiac for March 2024, that link is also down below in the description box in the show more section. And hopefully these videos are also added to my website, but as I've said in the videos, I didn't have a good February. I broke my wrist and badly sprained my right wrist. So I hope I can get them typed out and over on my website. Also, my psychic crystal readings for the new year of 2024 for each sign of the zodiac are also available. Those links are down below and on my website. And my New Year 2024 10-card Celtic Cross Tarot Spread Psychic Tarot Readings for each sign of the Zodiac. If you haven't checked out the New Year's readings yet, we're only a couple months into the New Year, so you may want to check them out because they will be very helpful to you to go back and watch throughout the year uh, to check on those psychic predictions and messages for this year of 2024. Also, my career and finance, psychic tarot, and crystal readings for the next 12 to 18 months. I recorded them in April of 2023, and the predictions go out until the end of October of 2024. I'm not going to do my uh, career and finance readings like that anymore. I may uh, break them up, career separately, finance separately. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm not going to continue on in that format. So this will be the last chance to get them together in the same video uh, format, that the way they're laid out now. Also, my Horseshoe Tarot Seven Card Spread Psychic Tarot readings, I recorded them in August of 2023. Uh, August of 2023, and those predictions go all the way out until the end of August of 2024. So if you want to see what videos I have available, there'll be many links down below. You can click on that uh, each link. You can go to the page on Vimeo and read the descriptions of what I divination tools I've used, how long the predictions go out for, and what I'm covering in the video. You can also see those, that same information on my videos page on my website. Uh, also, if you would like to help support this channel and donate to the channel to help it keep going, there's a donation link down below connected to PayPal. Thank you so much to those of you who have been very kind, generous, and donated to my channel. It does mean a lot, and it does help me a lot. And you know, when you purchase my Vimeo videos, you are helping support this channel to keep going. The ad revenue is so small, you can't live off of it, unless you have like, you know, several hundred uh, thousand subscribers, or you're up to a million subscribers. The the lower level uh, subscribership 
it, it's not enough to live on and to keep going. So any videos you buy and any donations you make help to keep me be able to make these videos here on YouTube. So it does help and it's a great thing. I do truly appreciate it and it means a lot to me. So thank you so much for that. Also, if you would like to get more predictions and messages from my spirit guides that you're not going to see here on a video on YouTube, you can also follow me on my social media pages at The Lucky Mermaid LLC on Facebook and The Lucky Mermaid underscore Pam Georgell on Instagram. And also at The Lucky Mermaid on X and also on my Rumble channel, The Lucky Mermaid LLC. So, uh, but I do do posts on X. I also post predictions and messages on Facebook and Instagram and also on my YouTube community pages. Many people find these messages resonate with them. I usually pull tarot cards or oracle cards. Occasionally I use the crystal and people do find they resonate with them. So hopefully you'll find they resonate with you as well. So I hope you have an absolutely marvelous month of March, all the signs of the Zodiac out there, and know that I wish you many blessings and peace.